Hello everyone. We will continue that topic and we will learn more more features of that debugging mode. In this topic, in this video, we will cover what is static and dynamic breakpoint. How we can put static and dynamic breakpoints in the program. As of now, if you remember, we are always doing that debugging. We are putting a session breakpoint by this red mark option. Now we will learn what is static and dynamic breakpoint and how we can use and how we can debug with the help of this particular topic. What is static and what is dynamic? Static breakpoint are user independent breakpoint. It means they are not dependent on the user. Suppose I will go for simple example. Suppose there is one user whose user ID is trainee 01. There is another user whose ID is trainee 02. Trainee 01 is putting a static breakpoint in the program. So whenever trainee 02 will run that program he will also enter into debugging mode because trainee 01 has put a static breakpoint and static breakpoint are user independent breakpoint. If one user put the static breakpoint, any other user who is running the same program that breakpoint will also applicable to all the users. This is user independent breakpoint or it is also called as static breakpoint. Now, what is dynamic breakpoint? Dynamic breakpoints are user dependent breakpoints. It means if trainee 01 put a user dependent breakpoint, it will not applicable to any other user. This means trainee 01 will is only only go with trainee 01 will only go to debugging mode. For all other users, that breakpoint will not be applicable. Now Question comes how we can put a static breakpoint and how we can put a dynamic breakpoint or how we can put a user independent breakpoint or user dependent breakpoint. Firstly, we will learn how to put a static breakpoint. Suppose I am going to the program. Suppose this is the program. In this program, I am putting a static breakpoint. Static breakpoint. So, how to put a static breakpoint? I'll just wait. Whenever static breakpoint, we can put break hyphen point. This is the keyword which is used to put a static breakpoint. Whenever I will run the program, program will stop here. Any other user who is running the program, program will stop here. Suppose I will show you. See, I have not put any session breakpoint, nothing. I just put a break hyphen point statement. This is a static, static breakpoint. I'm running the program. 
I'm going for execute. And you can see my program automatically stops on the 12th number line. And it is applicable to all the users who is running this program. They will automatically enter into debugging mode. Now, we will see how to put a dynamic breakpoint. Now, suppose how to put a dynamic breakpoint. Suppose I'm writing break space my username. This is the way to put a dynamic breakpoint or user dependent breakpoint. Break space your username. Break space username. I'm activating the program. My SAP login ID is S4AUG13. And I put a breakpoint, break my SAP login ID. So whenever I will run the program, I will enter into debugging mode. But for all the other users, this breakpoint will not be applicable because it is a user dependent breakpoint. Suppose I will run the program. I'm giving some input. I'm going to execute. My program automatically stopped here because my SAP login ID is also this and I put a break my login ID. So this breakpoint is only only applicable to me. This is a user dependent breakpoint. Now the question comes, how you should go for debugging? You should go for user dependent breakpoints or user independent breakpoints whenever you are going for that debugging. Never, never go for user independent breakpoint. Suppose simple, you are analyzing a program why you are hampering other users that they should also go to debugging mode. So never go for, never go for static breakpoints. Simple. You put a break hyphen point statement in the program. And by mistake, that code moved to the production system. Then what will happen? Customer will also enter into the debugging mode or suppose whoever is running the program in the quality, he will also go to debugging mode. So never, never go for static breakpoint. If you want to debug a program, go for your ID, break space, username, or if you do not want to go for this, we have an option. You can debug the code with the help of these red marks. Yes, sir. So this is the way, but never, never prefer static breakpoints because if you will put a static breakpoint, it means you are saying other users also to go to uh, that debugging mode, but that is not preferable way. So what we learned in this particular video, what is static breakpoint, how we can give the static breakpoint. What is dynamic breakpoint? How we can give the dynamic breakpoints? And dynamic breakpoints are always preferable whenever you want to do the debugging because those are user dependent breakpoints. If I'm writing break hyphen point statement, it is a user independent breakpoint. If I'm writing break space username, that is user dependent breakpoint. So that's it in this video. Thank you.